My name is uh, Alan Mearson. I'm a chief engineer with Plexpack. I've been with Plexpack for 20 years, and since then I'm working on both Mplex and Daymark, the two main lines uh, of Plexpack. I'm Jackie Irvine, and I'm the marketing coordinator for Plexpack Corp. My name is Maria Alejandra Casanova. I'm the international sales manager. We have continuous bag sealers, thanks to Mplex. This is our Mplex line of bagging systems. This is a fully automated system. The operator will just put the product on a conveyor and will end up with a fully sealed bag at the end of the line. We have Daymark shrink and bundling machinery. And then we also have Vacpack, which is a impulse style bag sealer that does modified atmosphere packaging. We have a standard line, but we tend to customize pretty much every equipment to the customer needs. Today we will be looking at the side sealer. This is a new line we have developed over the last two years. What's unique about this line is the wash down side sealer. Specifically this equipment we're gonna look at was designed for a fish industry. The customer is a salmon producer, is the second salmon producer in Chile. We customized a couple of things. Here is the equipment which consists of two separate machines, the side sealer and the tunnel, the shrink tunnel. So they were looking to automate their packaging process. Daymark Instarap is using a combo PLC HMI. We have a recipe menu which basically each separate package can have its own recipe and its own selling parameters. At this stage the package is fed into our infit conveyor so the package gets wrapped into the polyolefin film. They want to conserve the image as the best as they can. So the best idea was to wrap in plastic these boxes. The sensor basically is detecting the package and the speed is based on the line speed. The sensor detects when a package comes on our line and basically that triggers our sealing and bagging process. In the second stage, the package that's fully wrapped is getting sealed on the side along the package. In this case, we are using a bead seal to create the side seal, which is the preferred choice for a polyolefin fill. For the cross seal, we're using servo motor to be able to synchronize the movement with our main line speed. The side sealer is using BNR controls and motion controls. I will present now the controls. We're using three servo motors on this equipment and five AC motors. We're using a safety relays. So any operator input is done through a safety PLC. Also, we have a VPN router. We can troubleshoot from our office in Toronto to the plant in Chile or anywhere in the world. At this stage, we have a fully enclosed package, which is going into the shrink tunnel. The shrink tunnel has a stainless steel belt that ensure a consistent airflow all around the package. We used only stainless steel components and washdown motors. The side sealer is using Festo pneumatics, belting. It's coming from Movex, an Italian manufacturer. We're using lots of AB uh, controls for the shrink tunnel. All AC motors on the side sealers are AC motors with VFD drives. So this is what it's all about here at PlexPack. Getting our customers' products from point A to point B whether it's from the start of the sealer to the end of the packing line or from Canada all the way into Europe. So if we look in here, this is our customer's product. And we like to refer to him as our friend, Fred the Fish. This project we developed was a big success story for us and we hope to increase our footprint with other countries and to become a, really a worldwide Canadian uh, supplier. We're always trying to create more machinery that's really going to be the absolute best for our vertical industries. The customer is happy with the distribution packaging solution that we have provided. <laughs>